Hi guys, this is Dickpix and today I'm gonna pick and guard my Abyss 83's AL45 Series 2. This special padlock um, has a snow core, snowman core format padlock and um, I'm going to pick and guard it for the celebration draw of the hashtag MCFRB giveaway for the golden American Run 1100 cutaway lock. Yeah. So here is the key. It's actually an Abus lock, but it seems to be a cooperation between Essa and Abus because key is kind of an Essa key blank. Yeah, let's going to pick this one. And then got it. Light tension on it, and let's try to pick it. So I start back to fours, pin six, four, five, four is binding. Five set. Back to the rear of the lock. Springy. This one is binding. Was some heavy counter rotation on four. Now I'm in a full set. Pin 4 is doing guard rotation. And I got it open. So. Yeah, let's pick and cut it. Got my pin in gray. So. Put my vice away and then down here. So what do we got here? So I lock it back. I can lock it back up and Just to show also that the key is working. It has a Torx screw in here. So that is the core, also cylinder. I think the screw don't want to come out. That's fine. So I put the T here, the T here. And what do we have here? That is part of the um, that's part of the series two, which is turnable to get um, a 
key retaining system or a non-key retaining system, which is a pretty cool thing you can do on these. So we let it like that for now. We don't want to go into that further. And I think I already did a video on this. There are talks also in there. I never got it at this one before, but I should have the tools to open it right away here. This one is too big. This one. That's better. Yeah, okay. So I choose this padlock because it's not well known out there or it's um, kind of not common especially in Germany and I think you can call or like you, you was able to order it um, from Denmark I think oh the screws are very tight in there oh yeah so Good one. Got two. Clip off. So key in. Turn the core slightly and always shim your lock. Just take some shims I have over here somewhere. Maybe this one. That one should work. I have absolutely no idea what's in there. I think some spools, maybe pretty standard design. Can't get past those pins. I think now I got it. So now we should be good to go. Ah, you could also um, cut it from from the top. I didn't know that. Interesting thing. Yeah, so now we can get it. And as normally I don't have my stuff ready. It should fit in there. Yeah, and do it like that. And yeah. Oh, that's pretty interesting what uh, we see here. Because we see an overmilled key uh, core. It's kind of interesting. It's very interesting, I think. I never saw it before. It's a six pin pin lock. And yeah, let's see what is in there. Standard in one, standard in two, standard in three, standard in four, standard in five. And standard in six. So, where is my pick? Nothing fancy like undercut or milling here in there, except the old milling. So. Range for the pins. So here you have the pins, and now that go to the better part of, of the lock, hopefully. So I'm also kind of interested what is in here because I never got it before. Okay, I see strange stuff in there. What is that? Ah, I think it's um, a 
looks just strange, but um, yeah, this is the tape pot. This is the tape pot on one, and um, I think I got pretty lucky. I, I will show everything later in more detail. Otherwise, I should uh, would need to zoom in and out always. And yeah. And as I already said, this is not a common lock for me. And oh man, what the fuck is that? That is a Christmas tree inside of there. I hoped so damn for this to happen, but actually it isn't isn't Christmas tree. And um, I can explain you why. Or oh, I saw one Reddit post about this lock and the guy said it was impossible to open and as he opened it he saw there are Christmas tree inside again another taper driver and yeah I picked mine and I saw oh come on that's too easy to pick there can't be anything good inside and um, yeah, I was wrong, I think. So, I'm going to gut each part and, you know what, another Christmas tree. Christmas trees have the gin part and the spool part and are kind of my <laughs> most uh, loved or most favorite. Oops on the board so we are good so it's almost like a pinning from a SR700 I think and sorry that I do it that slow but oh oh my god stuff jumped out I think I saw the uh, this, this thing fall down too fast maybe it was definitely the uh, Christmas tree on four and the barrel driver. Not barrel, it's a tapered on six. So, what do we have here? Uh, I'm kind of um, annoyed that I fucked it up, but that's like the pinning of the lock and yeah um, two things which are pretty interesting now I will zoom in and um, will sh show you closer looks of everything here you see the pins I have in there and That's an overmilled core. Yeah. Then we have the cylinder. I don't think there is any mechanism in there, but I need to be sure. Just everything normal. Okay. So this here on front looks just uh, strange because there are um, anti-drilling pins, I think. And I don't know whether those fall, can fall out, but no, don't look like it can fall out actually. Um, yeah. In while I um, did all that, I lost. I think it goes here and cover the Bible. Yeah. So now I go in deeper to the pins. And yeah, I think this is a very interesting pinning. Oh, come on. Can I get it? I got it. So here you see all those Christmas trees and also the tapered ones 
and that is crazy. So now two things why it was so easy to pick. First thing, yeah, this is gonna be a very long video, I think. First thing, you see the bidding on here, and two, three, and yeah, not not right, but six are uh, nearly uh, zero. Is it a zero cut? You see the keel always like that. It's also it's a low cut, and you don't have to lift it actually, and therefore the most security or the best security pins aren't acting. Also, the core, the core, yeah, doesn't have the typical undercut milling in here, where um, the Christmas tree interact with. So no co matching counter milling here, and that's why those keep or those um, driver pins can't do the full um, full amount of what they are able, able to do in in um, yeah related to security reasons and so on so very cool lock and this was my pick and guard for the hashtag mc frb for the giveaway i hope you liked it and i hope to do more videos like that in, in the future thanks for watching i hope i didn't forgot anything but I could show the core. If anyone of you came along, come along and see something like that for a few bucks, grab it. So it's 38 AL45. Here also some um, specification. And yeah, I'm very happy that my lock has actually those Christmas trees. But I think the tapered ones are very annoying in here because they they act like normal. They are hard to pick and um, need much back and forth until and much force also. That might be also a reason why I didn't got the pin set actually. So as typically I forgot something and um, I show it now afterwards. Here you see um, the core pinned up with the six key pins. And now you can see why it was so easy, actually. In pin, in chamber one, the driver pin goes a little deeper. So this security pick, pick, pin is acting. The Christmas tree on two isn't really acting at all because it sits right here. So just a little bump and it's over the shear line. So next next one is the tapered on three, which also needs just a little bump and it's here. Also it's a shear line. So then chamber five and four. Here we have the the Christmas tree sitting like here and on that here. It sits also exactly the same position. So we pick it and you get here into a small false set maybe and then you get it over the shear line and you're done. So now oh, this it's actually correct one which is but it's the same shape and stuff. And yeah, you pick it. You get into the small fold set maybe, pick it over the shear line and you're good to go. The actually the, the um, mechanic of the Christmas tree matching into a counter milling here don't work here because there is no counter milling. It's over milled and um, yeah, you could increase, I think you could increase the security of this one by far if you would mill in the slots of the Christmas trees in two, two, four, and five, those counter millings. And um, yeah, then the head would catch in it and you would have to pick it like a gin first. 
Pen 6 also a barrel which is nearly not acting at all. So a very interesting key or well, a very interesting lock and a very interesting um, bidding on this one <laughs> which uh, just particularly say no security <laughs> and yeah. So again thanks for watching and have a nice evening or have a nice day. Thanks!